Well, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has dismissed the allegation of forgery against the Enugu State Governor, Peter Mba. The court also imposed a fine of 5 million naira on NYSC for alleging that the court discharge certificate held by Mba was fake. Mba had sued the NYSC and his director of court certification, Ibrahim Mohammed, for publishing a disclaimer denying the issuance of a discharge certificate issued to him on January 6. 2003. Delivering judgment on the matter on Monday, Justice Iyengi Kuo uh, held that the certificate presented to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, by Mba was authentic and validly issued by the National Youth Service Corps. Eko added that the Director General of the NYC and the Corps, who were defendants in the suit, were guilty of misrepresentation of material facts. We're now being joined by Chris uh, Ekemezie, who is a legal practitioner, to discuss the court judgment on the Enugu State Governor. Uh, Chris, uh, good to see you and thanks for your time. Uh, this is one that has come uh, as a big surprise to a lot of Nigerians. Uh, they had thought that uh, NYC, the issuer, was spot on. So let us in on what exactly transpired. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, well, the, I don't think that it came as a big surprise to Nigerians. Um, anybody that followed the trend um, regarding um, the governor of Enugu State will understand that the man was clean, had been issue from the beginning. He never forged any certificate. Uh, you may recall that um, the, the, the Department of State Security had investigated this allegation and came up with a finding a report that the governor did not forge the certificate. There are so many parameters they used as an um, investigative body uh, to arrive at the conclusion that the certificate the, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Amba, the governor of Enugu State presented, was authentic. They looked at the quality of the means, the production of the paper, and found that it was consistent with the same certificates issued by NYSE to people. They also found out that the serial number Dr. Peter Mba's certificate has is part of the serial numbers issued in Lagos, where he served. They also found out that the NYSE is very, very tardy in documentation. So they came up with a finding that the certificate possessed by the governor of Enugu State is authentic. Today, the court, in, the federal court in Abuja, has led much more credence to it by making a judicial pronouncement that those certificates, the certificate issue, um, produced by Dr. Peter and to, uh, to the INEC is authentic. Now, the court in um, its finding um, used a perimeter, finding of fact. The court, the, because the NYSE in their defense tendered as bits um, D, DW1 and A31 and A32. This has to do with the certificates they have produced, said it is certificate of Dr. Peter Mba. Now, the NYSC, in their claim, said that all the certificates uncollected up to 2004, we, they were collected by them and incinerated, meaning that Dr. Peter Mba, who actually passed out in 2003 certificate, was also part of the ones that were incinerated. But surprisingly, they produced a certified true copy of the one they claimed was the uncollected certificate of Dr. Peter Mba. So the court in his finding and said, if you had incinerated all those certificates in 2021, as you claimed in, a, in a, uh, evidence before the court, how then did you produce this particular one? Oh. Because as of 2021, right, so Dr. Dr. Peter Mba was not in politics. Quickly. Yeah, if I may come in very quickly, we, I mean, we don't have m that much time left. Uh, Mr. Ekemeze, what exactly would be NYSC's motive in all of this? And who really should authenticate a document or a certificate or, you know, if you like? Shouldn't it be the NYSC itself? Yes, uh, now the, <clears throat> let me go to the first question, uh, the motive of NYSC. Now, we believe that some people actually did it with NYSC officials, corrupt officials in NYSC. We believe some people proceeded to pick up those things and made up these reports. There are permutations you can look at. 
who actually wrote the letter to NYC to uh, authenticate the certificate issued by Dr. Peter Mba? Nobody, somebody who was not in politics, nobody, nobody knows her. She just put in that letter because it was an agenda being pro projected by some people. So based on that, the NYC now wrote the, uh, the letter saying that it wasn't authentic. Dr. Peter Mba went back to NYC to ensure them, look at all the documentations, everything, including his his um, bank statements, where he was paid his allowance till discharge, including the last letter or final discharge um, let, uh, uh, letter from the law firm where he served. He, showed, he brought all the documents, including his application to NYC for him to go on um, uh, to law school when the time came, and the one when he finished in law school, asking them to reabsorb him back to the, to the scheme, which including the letters by NYC, absorbing him, allowing him to proceed, and the rest of them. He had everything and showed them everything. So if we're going back to the second question, <clears throat> the, oh, sorry, let me finish with this one first. Now, at, at that moment, some people thought that could be the nail they used to end Dr. Peter Ambar's political ambition in Enugu State, but that didn't work out. Because the election tribunal, on the whole, all that they had, or all the people at the opposition had was on NYC, 90% of it. Now, on the second question of authentication, fine. If, if this, the body, the legal body that holds the original document that authenticates, but the one Dr. Peter Ambas submitted to INEC was authenticated, certified by, by the same NYC, before they produced a second one, said it wasn't his own. His own. So the electoral tribunal in Enugu uh, made a finding, made a finding that they authenticated, certified the very one Dr. Peter Ambar produced to INEC. So they cannot right. deny it. Okay. That is not their document. That's where we have to leave it. Uh, Chris uh, Ekemeze is a legal practitioner. Thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, on Newsnight tonight. tonight.